What's up, people? Joe Winko here, your favorite Hawaiian guy. And here's my next episode of Joe Winko Talk. So this is going to be a short episode of Joe Winko Talk. And it's really just going to be my opinion about stuff going on in the world right now. So as you guys all know, the coronavirus pandemic is getting out of hand. Well, it already has gotten out of hand. Cases are soaring literally everywhere. What's going on in the USA is everyone is reopening things now. And I already explained how this was a bad idea in my second wave episode of Joe Winko Talk. I'll have a link to that in the pinned comments, and that was way back in May. But now they're thinking of sending kids back to school, which is a very, very bad idea in my opinion. It kind of angers me because I've been watching the news and listening to the news reporters and listen to the scientists talk about this. They keep saying that coronavirus doesn't have an effect on kids, and they keep saying that kids are safe from coronavirus, but that's clearly not true. A couple months ago, I made a memorial video for a few people who have died of coronavirus. The youngest victim in that video was a five-year-old girl. Her name was Skylar Herbert, and she was a little girl who lived in Michigan. She contracted coronavirus, and she was on a ventilator, and she died. And when I read about her, and I read about what happened to her, I felt really sorry for her because she reminded me of my niece. And it was just really messed up and really unfair that she was that young, and she died. And whenever I hear the news reporters say that coronavirus doesn't affect children at all, and that children aren't at risk for coronavirus, it honestly makes me really angry because the first thing I think about is Skylar and I always want to say tell that to Skylar how can you say that kids aren't affected by coronavirus yeah it may be rare that they don't get extremely sick but the fact that one kid passed away from coronavirus is bad enough and she's not the only one either there was also another girl in Louisiana. She suffered from this condition linked to COVID-19. Somehow she contracted coronavirus. And what ended up happening was she had this multi-system inflammatory syndrome. Her heart stopped beating and they had to fly her to the hospital and resuscitate her. And she was on a ventilator for five days, and she literally did die, but they were able to bring her back and get her heart beating in time. So she's alive now, but I watched some of the interviews of her after that happened, and I listened to how she sounded when she talked. I'm not going to show her picture in this episode of Joe Winko Talk, but if you want to find her, you can just Google search that whole news story. It seemed like that left some lasting effects on her. And that's another thing. You don't know what the lasting effects on these kids would be if they catch coronavirus. Isn't it our job as adults to make sure that children are safe and to make sure that they don't get sick and that they don't die at all? Why are you sending them back to school and why are you trying to risk their lives? That's fucked up and that's unfair. So do not reopen schools at all. There's actually a petition that I signed. I'll have the link to it in the pinned comments. I want you guys to sign it too. It's a petition to keep schools closed and they should keep schools closed until these coronavirus cases are going down all over the country, not just state by state, but all over the country. They should be going down in every single state until they have an effective treatment and until they have a vaccine. I also signed a couple petitions on a mask mandate for the entire state of Florida. I'm going to be explaining that in a future episode of Joe Winko Talk. 
Also, another petition for a mask mandate for the entire state of Georgia. I'll be explaining that in a future episode of Joe Winko Talk. And also another petition for a mask mandate for the entire country of the USA. Because the mask... People always say that the mask only protect the people who... I mean, they only... Pre prevent you from spreading it if you have it asymptomatically, which is true, but they also help protect you, too. I mean, it's obvious, really, because they filter out air. Certain type of masks work better than the surgical mask, but even the surgical masks offer some protection. The N95s are the best one. They even have masks that cover up your face and go around your face that you can buy and reuse. You just have to change the filters and wash them. I think everyone should wear a mask. I even saw one news story that if everyone wore a mask, the coronavirus pandemic could be under control in about six weeks. So everyone should start wearing a mask. How difficult is that? I wear my mask whenever I go out, but I rarely ever go out because I'm scared of this coronavirus stuff. And it's just messed up that all this is going on, really. There's also another clip that I wanted to show you guys of this one girl in Virginia who says that she doesn't want to go back to school at all. And I'm going to play it for you guys right now. Here it is. Some students are concerned, too. In Virginia, high school senior Sophia Barabon says she doesn't want to go back. Just going to school right now feels like such an experiment. And, you know, me, my peers, my family, and my younger siblings are just, we're not willing to be part of that experiment. The other goal, say some educators, is to try to limit the disruption as much as possible. The last thing they want to do is reopen schools only to have to shut them down again. Nothing about this decision is easy. Notice what she said there how it's just an experiment and that she doesn't want to be part of that experiment because she's absolutely right. That's exactly what it is. We can't be experimenting with kids' lives. That's fucked up and that's cruel. And we can't be experimenting with teachers' lives either because if these kids bring this virus home to their parents or to their family members, they would get sick also. So we need to keep schools closed. We still need to keep things closed. We need to start wearing masks. And we need to get this pandemic under control. Luckily, there's news that a vaccine will be out very soon. I will be explaining that more in future episodes of Joe Winko Talk. But that was just my... That was my whole opinion on this. I do not think schools should reopen. I think it's a horrible idea. And to any parents who just so happen to be watching this video, do not send your kids to school. It's dangerous. You should not want your kids to get sick. I mean, yeah, you may think that your kids are not going to get sick because they're young. This virus affects everyone, young and old. Look at what happened to Skylar, and she was only five. And I also think it's really messed up because it doesn't really seem like many kids are having a say in this. I mean, I'm pretty sure none of those kids want to go back to school. Because what kid likes being in school anyway? I know I didn't. But especially with a deadly virus spreading around that can kill you. We shouldn't put our kids at risk. So keep your kids at home. Just stick to the virtual learning. Seriously. We need to get this under control because there's more important stuff to take care of. We shouldn't be trying to get back to normal because things aren't normal right now. There's a deadly virus that's spreading everywhere. I've been following the cases of it and the statistics of it on this one site. I'll have the link to it in the pinned comments of this video. So that's basically it for this episode of Joe Winko Talk. I told you it was going to be a short one. Um, I just really wanted to get my opinion out there about all of this. I definitely don't think schools should reopen. Please sign the petitions that I linked in the pinned comments of this video, because those are very important. And 
those are things that need to be done to get this pandemic under control. So that's basically it for this episode of Joe Winko Talk. Make sure to stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Don't touch your mouth, nose, or eyes. And don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget to stay safe out there, everyone. So that's basically it. Peace out, people.